Good morning everyone. Um, this is just a quick video. Hope you're having a blessed Sunday. Today is Marie Laveau's birthday. Um, I've been I've made some posts about the service that I'm holding today in her honor. Um, and so I just wanted to come on here and remind you that that is today. And if Marie Laveau has had, I'm personally am a devotee of Marie Laveau, but if her history or her sort of, um, not sort of, but huge contribution to New Orleans voodoo and hoodoo and the art and magic of conjure and grigri, um, if root work and folk magic of, um, of the United States has inspired you in any way or is a part of your path in any way, I just realized I put one earring in. <laughs> Good thing I've just been out exercising, so, <laughs> whoops, anyway. Um, if you have been inspired by that, if you do not know about her, but you've heard about her and what the monumental figure that she was for American folk magic, um, I really suggest that you read some books on her. I have a link in my bio for recommended reading. Um, I'm adding to it. I don't know how many books are on there right now, but there's at least 20, maybe 25. Um, I definitely have more to add to it. Several of them are about Marie Laveau, the history of her life, and just um, um, some of them are um, magical books that are inspired by her practices. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to remind you of that today. And it's really important to honor the people that came before us that created um, a more uh, educated version of the folk magic practices and earth magical practices that we um, perform and that have contributed to so many of our spiritual paths. Um, even if, you know, it's not something that even if you don't exactly practice hoodoo or you don't practice New Orleans voodoo, um, honoring her spirit is just the figure that she was and what she did to bring races together in ritual um, and in appreciating um, the traditions and beliefs that made New Orleans what it is, um, that made the South what it is. Um, it's really important to honor those spirits of those that came before us, just as in the way we on, honor our ancestors um, and our spirits and our guides around us. So um, so I am offering the service. The link is in my bio. There's three options. One of them you can get a free oil with. One of them is just the candle lighting vigil where I will send your petition up for you in honor or offering. You can simply do this out of respect or you, we can make a request at this time. Um, and then I'm also offering an extended um, customized vigil, which will take place over a longer period of time. I believe I have it up for three or five days. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm just about to go home to set up. I'm in my beautiful home away from home cemetery here. And uh, I'm going to gather some offerings from here from her for her. And I'm going to head home. I'm going to start setting up for the day. And um, it is really an all day event for me. Um, these all are any of these services that I offer. But um, mainly what I came on here to do was to say that when you take part in these services and this energy exchange between you and I, which is really what it is, um, I've been doing this for 25 years and I can honestly say that this is an energy exchange. Um, there's something really um, you know, magical is such a, you know, I, I, I know that makes it, you know, it's like, obviously it's magical. Um, there is this transformative power when you type out a goal or a petition, something you want to manifest, something you want to create, something you want to bring into your life. And you send that to a person who is a professional spiritual worker, professional root worker like myself, just the simple act of typing it out things that you are often fearful to say, things that you don't have confidence in, things that haven't happened for you yet, 
things that are your dreams, things that are your hopes, things that you pray for with every fiber of your being, when you release that to the universe by simply typing out a petition, you will never know the catalyst that that can be if you don't try it. And it is a just major, major catalyst of just starting that top turning, right? You need momentum behind your hopes and your dreams. And you may not have anybody around you who will give that to you. You may not have any, uh, you may not have a great support system. Maybe your goals and dreams are so far from anything that they've ever experienced or ever thought about that they can't support you in it because they don't know how. Maybe you're genuinely around people that don't know how to be happy for others. There's a million reasons why we should participate in candle vigils like this. And that is the biggest one, is releasing your hopes and dreams from your mind onto a physical piece of paper where somebody like me who, who, who knows how to manifest, who knows how to work magic to get the best results, who is backed by 25 years of experience and successful clients, um, to help get behind that and foster those hopes and dreams and goals and send energy to you to just allow you to begin to accept and create and let those things actually take root in true belief that they can be achieved. So that's what these vigils are about, okay? That is what these are about, is I want you to allow yourself to take the first step in believing in your hopes and dreams by allowing me to read them and get behind you with support. I want you to allow yourself to have support. I want yourself to, I want you to allow yourself to believe in your hopes and dreams that they can manifest and that they can happen. Even if it's just for this one day, we can put this one day of momentum behind it. Uh, I promise you, if you just allow it, you will begin to start seeing movement. And I offer lots of these services every month. I do holy days and feast days and astrological days, honey jar services. And it's a really great way to um, affordably reach out to my community here online, um, which I'm so, so grateful for. All of your support and um being with me on this journey for the last 15 years on public online and um, yeah I'm so grateful for all of you allow yourself to be supported that's what I'm here for if you want a free consultation all you have to do is email me at conjuredcardia at gmail.com I would love to talk to you about um, spell work or spell items you can use to uh, really get behind the things that you're trying to create in your own reality. So be blessed. Have a beautiful Sunday and y'all take care.